I was thinking I wanted to talk about one of those English books that I like discovered when I moved here. And so I'm bringing the most English title I could find for a children's <laughs> book. Are you ready? Brace yep. yourself. It is The Tiger Who Came to Tea. The Tiger Who Came to Tea is adorable. That is a giant tiger sitting in a chair with a, a tiny person at a card table. Oh exactly. my God. And it's, who, who wrote that? The Tiger Who Came okay, to Tea. So, so this is a woman named Judith Kerr who uh, she came to England when she was nine. She and her families, they were, they were Jewish refugees from the Nazis in the 1930s. Okay. Um, so, and one of the cool things about her, for me as somebody who, who writes these books, she has a, a great quote. So she, she learned, like the first language she learned was German, then she had to learn English. And she feels that, that, that English is much harder. Like German, when you read a word, you say it the way it looks. English, oh. all bets are off. The Germans are a tidy people, especially when they're when they're <laughs> w- w- when they're saying words. Uh, the English, oh my gosh, we're all over the place. So, yes, exactly. I, so, so she said, because, yes, oh excellent. So, so and she said, and I, I wrote this quote down because I, I want to remember it. Because uh, English is so much harder, children shouldn't have to read any unnecessary words. The worst thing you can do is draw a picture of a boy in blue shorts and say, "Here's a boy in blue shorts," and I. Oh, interesting, because the, uh, that feels like kind of a baby book where you could break it down for your baby, like your toddler, when you're going, here's a boy in blue shorts. Can you find the blue shorts? Can you find the boy? Can you find the, all right, and uh, put it together. And so that's a task, and that's okay, but it certainly isn't compelling uh, narrative. I mean, that's not that's not the story that any kid wants to hear. Yeah, great. All right, what about him? And... <laughs> Exactly. And, and this goes back to sort of our talk about how like how a lot of good books come out of people being inspired by good books. They also come out of people being inspired by bad books. And, and Judith Kerr has said one of the reasons she started writing, she her books were like in the 50s and 60s, okay. where a lot of the books that were available to her were here is a boy in blue shorts, like that kind of functional, yeah. but totally uninspiring stuff. Right, right. She put a tiger in a chair and now that tiger's coming to tea. So that's exactly. exciting. Uh, so what so what so. People, open up your YouTubes, start looking at this because this is one that has pictures.